What's up everyone? My name is Dora. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm giving you the secret to making bath bombs float. There are many factors that can affect a bath bomb's ability to float and I'm covering all of it. But I'm just going to let you know up front that if your bath bombs sink, it's more than likely from either adding too much wet ingredients, packing the bath bomb with too much mix, or not letting it dry enough. If you are new to bath bomb making, please check out my playlist, Bath Bomb Making 101. It has everything you need to know about making bath bombs. Also, if you're interested, check out the color playlist. It has information about the different colorants you can use, blooming dyes, making your own color powder, and more. Definitely check out the description. You'll find lots of additional helpful information that's not covered in the video. First, bath bombs float the best when they are fully dry and light in weight. A few things to be aware of is that some dry ingredients like clay are much heavier in weight and they also require much more wet ingredients to bind them together, making your bath bomb even heavier. Also, humectants like salt draw in moisture from the air which may make your bath bomb heavier and in extreme cases could even cause premature reactions to take place. It's important to use a balanced mix of wet ingredients. Heavy liquids like oil, butter, and even polysorbate 80 weigh more, they don't dry well, and they don't dry quickly. However, they hardly ever cause premature reactions, and they are necessary to the recipe as you're about to see. Thin liquids, on the other hand, like water, witch hazel, or castile soap, dry more effectively and a lot quicker. However, they cause premature reactions, especially if they're added alone without a thicker liquid to act as a buffer. This is important because premature reactions will also make the bath bomb sink. The key is to find the perfect balance of wet to dry ingredients, which I'm about to give you. The mix should never puff up like this. If it does, it's way too wet. So here's the standard dry recipe, which I'm sure that most of you know this like the back of your hand. For this recipe, add 20 to 25 milliliters of liquid total. Golden rule number one, don't add too much wet ingredients. You want to wet the mix just enough so that it sticks together. If you over wet the mix, the bomb will be too heavy, it'll take more time to dry, and it may even cause premature reactions. You can also add citric acid last after you've added the wet to limit the chance of premature reactions. The mix should be slightly damp and fluffy. Golden rule number two, don't overpack the bath bomb. Just like with the wet ingredients, only use what you need. Don't add extra. Fill the mold, then pack it. Sprinkle loose mix on top. Repeat for the other side. I also read that poking the mix with a sharp object will create air pockets, contributing to a floating bath bomb. I don't do this, but whatever works. Smush the two sides together, then tap it to release. If the bath bomb releases without having to tap it, it's more than likely not filled enough. And this one was not filled enough, so I added a bit more mix, then tapped it. 
Golden rule number three, allow the bath bombs sufficient time to dry. Leave them on the counter to dry for 24 to 48 hours, then wrap them and dry them for another three days. They will continue to dry even when wrapped. It could take 10 days or longer for them to fully dry where they float. More on this in the description. Store the bath bombs in a dry place. If your bath bombs are still sinking, try some of these tricks. Add SLSA. This will definitely make your bath bombs float. Just be aware that it makes the bath bomb very slow, lathery, and it decreases vigor. Consider the shape of the mold. The more surface area the bath bomb has equals a greater chance it will float. I just made these, they didn't dry at all, and they still floated. Last, try making a geode or bowl-shaped bath bomb. Bowl bombs always float great, but again, I just made this one and it obviously needed to dry a bit more. Thanks for joining me today. For more tutorials like this one and to show my small channel some love, subscribe now.